it's with great pleasure that I welcome Dr. Aniket Bharaskar, who is rank five in NEET SS Surgical Group. And uh, he's an amazing student. And he's one of those students who kept on uh, asking doubts in the group, continuously interacting with the faculty in the group. So it gives us, as teachers, a huge amount of satisfaction when you see such brilliant students, students doing extremely well. Welcome, Aniket. How do you feel? Thank, thank you, sir. I feel great, sir. This is what I dreamt of and I, I finally got what I dreamt. Yeah, like it's a childhood dream to get a single digit rank and so I'm really happy. Absolutely. I think I think there's something very special about a single digit rank and uh, uh, most of us are not lucky uh, to get that even once in their lifetime. So uh, uh, I think I think it's a great feeling and full credit to you and your family for uh, doing this. So, Anikit, before we begin the actual part where we ask you, you know, uh, the standard questions about how you prepared, what is the inspiration, tell us a little more about yourself, where you did your UG, PG, and where you're from. Sir, I am from Nagpur, and I did my UG from Ames, uh, Raipur. Which and batch? Uh, so, 2012 batch. Great, great. Uh -huh. And then, uh, I was the first batch at uh, Ames, Raipur. Oh, fantastic. And then... Uh, uh, I did my PG from GMC Nagpur. Great, buddy. Great, great, great. And uh, now that you got rank 5, what are you planning to do? Sir, uh, it was like, if anyone would have asked me what you wanted, I, I, I just wanted one thing. I used to keep saying Tata Onko. They are like, Onko chahiye, aur ka chalega nahi. I want Tata Onko. That was the only thing that was on my mind for the whole year, for, for the past one and a half years. And so that is it. So I don't know anything else. This is what I was working towards, and I finally got it. So that is what I, I think. Want. It's 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 pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing that you have set a goal and you're able to achieve it. And uh, what I really find uh, when you're talking to the top rankers is that uh, sometimes such a single-minded focus uh, gives you great results. And uh, congratulations to you, Niket. I think this is Thank huge. Uh, I hope you and your family are feeling elated. Uh, uh, Sir, this is are, incredible. They are really happy. They are feeling so proud and I am so glad that I am able to give them that feeling. Absolutely, buddy. Absolutely. I think it's it's what your family feels is, uh, uh, you know, incredible. So why Onko? Uh, sir, because I like the scope of the subject. I like uh, operating on a, a case of CA breast one day and the next day you can operate on uh, rectum or you can operate on the esophagus and so it gives me a variety of options and like it is a very versatile branch I can and it is a very core surgical branch that I am that that is what I was looking for and I did not want to narrow it down too soon uh, and also sir uh, uh, cancer there's an ever increasing prevalence so I would be able to cater to more people in need. So that is one of the reasons that I... That's, that, that's, that's pretty commendable, Aniket. Uh, and uh, Onco truly, very few specialties are there. Plastic surgery, Onco surgery and uh, pediatric surgery for that matter. Where you have the entire head-to-foot uh, approach. And I think that's, uh, that's incredible, uh, Aniket. And uh, I would say Onco still remains, uh, after a small lull when the toppers were taking GI, uh, uh, this year, what I'm finding is that all the toppers are inching towards Zongo, and I think that's a small, uh, uh, you know, a reversal in trend, and I think that's beautiful. Uh, so, Aniket, um, tell us more about your preparation and the role which Search just played in it. Uh, I know it because I have been constantly interacting with you over the past few months, perhaps, since our uh, classes started, the daily test and discussions, and you've been contributing in the group. But uh, I, th I think the students want to hear it from your own words about what role it played and how did you structure your preparation overall? Sir, so I uh, started studying for uh, NEET SS uh, at the beginning of, uh, around at the beginning of my uh, final year MS. And uh, I used to, uh, like that was the only dream, uh, aim that I had in my mind uh, of study, uh, getting a NEET SS seat. And the MS exam was just a secondary thing and all the things that came along was, was just secondary. Like in between, I also gave MRCS uh, part A. Uh, so, but my whole focus was on getting a SS seat. So that is how I studied. And then uh, like, if you have that much time, you, you start early. Uh, you can 
make your base and uh, you have to read the standard textbooks and so i initially read a lot of saviston because i was under the impression that saviston is more important so i started mainly with saviston i used to i used to read uh, each chapter thoroughly make notes so sir i make notes while studying so it helps me understand the concepts better it helps me get to the depths of the topic and so i made i started making notes on my ipad one chapter after the another i almost completed the notes for the whole thing uh, all the important chapters and all the important things and uh, then you need a, a a platform to test yourself to know what is important what has been asked in the past so mcq like search test cubang uh, helped me a lot sir i'd like to mention that search test cubang is the best cubang out there hands down it is the most it is the closest to what i have seen uh, this is my second uh, neat ss that i gave uh, last time uh, i got a rank of 278 and um, then i uh, and both the times i saw that uh, last time i did not solve the search test cubang so much and this time i solved it and i could feel that okay this is the real level this is what i had similar to the level that i had faced uh, in the last meet and uh, so i i trusted the cubank i so i read the chapters i solved questions i tried to do that 100 mcq thing that you uh, said but i i was not able to do it i could do maybe uh, sometimes i could do 60 or 50 uh i sir i am i am someone who likes to uh, read uh, anti grade i like to read the topic first and then solve the questions because it gives me a chance to test myself so till the i could finish the till the time i could finish the chapter i, I wouldn't solve questions so there were days in between that i did not solve questions there were days when i solved some 100 150 questions so that is how i uh, Uh, studied and then when i realized after last meet that bailey is really important uh, for the neat ss preparation as well i initially i thought that it is a pg uh, entrance level book but then i i realized ki uh, and af- even after the when the 28th edition came uh, it was at level uh, with sabiston the content they had improved it massively they had added stuff it was at par a uh, par with sabiston so i started reading uh, bailey i uh, attended your uh, bailey tnd uh, classes whenever i could and uh, I, i i suppose you are a pretty regular student over there because yes, at the end of every class i used to see your name uh, over there in the, the videos and uh, you know uh, you were constantly asking doubts so yeah go ahead and sir uh, since i had made my notes based on sabiston i just have to, had to keep adding the new things that i started reading from bailey after that so my base was set and when i had these notes it was very easy for me to go back to them whenever i wanted to because they were written in my own handwriting and i had annotated them like i wanted uh, according to the order of importance and stuff and i i personalized them to my uh, way of studying the chapter absolutely absolutely i think that's pretty interesting uh... Uh, see, the fact is that sometimes you might not be able to solve hundred MCQs a day, but the act that you the the intention is more important. As I told in uh, a previous video, uh, showing up is the most important thing. So you want to do hundred MCQs, you end up solving sixty to seventy. That's perfectly okay. But the idea that you should solve MCQs and test your knowledge is very important. As wise, you know, covering both Sabiston and Bailey, and you know, looking at this exam, Schwartz has also assumed a little bit of importance. Uh, so uh, I would say. uh and again preparation strategy your preparation strategy was absolutely impeccable uh, you went anti grade reading and that is what i personally recommend uh, i more than recommend it is what i personally do because when i was preparing for entrance exams mrcs or whatever exams i have done and uh, trust me i have done a lot of them too <laughs> uh, the only strategy which i used to do was you know uh, read first and then solve them secures so for me that's a perfectly um, sensible choice and again what advice would you want to give students who are preparing this year uh sir for those who are feeling a bit low uh, you have to realize that it's okay and it is gettable uh, last time i did not get the college that i wanted uh, but i i knew that if i have to work hard i knew the magnitude and i understood the magnitude when i started preparing again this year and it was 
it is uh, really a tough task you have to work hard you have to put in the hours there is no substitute uh, for the hard work you have to uh, be consistent you have to be persistent you have to make formulate a plan and stick to the plan that the path that you have chosen and you have to test yourself intermittently with uh, mocks and i would recommend to solve mocks from multiple platforms so that you get uh, uh, exposure to a different uh, sort of uh, mcq uh, solving uh, the way the uh, examiners ask questions and uh, uh, eventually your hard work will pay off it all i it did in my case so i can say Uh, I had never gotten a good rank in my UG or PG. Uh, that a uh, a good rank that I wanted, I could boast of. But now, I, if I can do it, uh, I'm sure if you stick to it, you work hard, you can do. It. You definitely can boast now, Aniket. <laughs> where do you see? Where do you see yourself ten years from now, Aniket? Uh, sir, uh, first, if I take Tata, which I will end up mostly uh, taking, uh, uh, it will be a three year thing journey, and then. Uh, after that i look for some fellowships i am interested in uh, uh, liver transplant so i'll see if i can uh, go into that uh, after this or i will see if i have to take the gastro route to that i haven't still figured out what i exactly want but after that uh, i will end up uh, uh, i want to be uh, uh, a little uh, invested in academics as well if i can apart from uh, and some research if that is possible and Absolutely. then i'll come come back to nagpur and try and uh, serve as many people that i can with the skills that i have acquired over the time hey, that's fantastic any professors you would like to thank or mentors during this journey sir uh, all the like especially you sir and the faculty uh, at search test and my sir uh, Uh, my uh, college uh, guide sir dr raj gajbie sir and sir uh, everyone uh, sir many people sir uh, la last last year you had taken Gur gurpreet sir's interview so he has been uh, uh, my one of my mentors uh, in this journey they have helped me along they have told me what needs to be done uh, what things are important how deep you need to go into a topic so yes sir thank you Eh hey, thank you sir Aniket I think it's been a, a pleasure having you here with us all the very best I hope 10 years down the line you achieve what you want and you are there where you want to be thank you thank good you. luck and a lots of love from the search system thank you sir